This is Twit. Antonio Chico, California. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Antonio. Hi, thank you for taking my phone call. Um, basically, I signed up for Norton at a business account, and they give you the free Norton. Yeah. And I was wondering, I've heard really good things, and I've heard really bad things about Hey, Norton! So hey, I Norton! I always want to, I think of Jackie Gleason. Hey, Norton! So Norton is not one of my favorites. Okay. Norton, I was in your chat Norton, room, and Norton. they said maybe like uh, Web Root. No, no, or... no, 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 no. They're all terrible. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Okay. <laughs> uh it is the case in business you probably want to use an antivirus. That's different because the business antiviruses work completely different than the consumer antiviruses. You, you remember last couple of weeks we've had all this hoo-ha about Meltdown and Spectre, these chip flaws yes. and the patches and so forth. One thing that Microsoft found is they couldn't patch Windows machines that were running antiviruses because the antiviruses caused blue screens of death if they fixed it. So they, all the antivirus companies had to go out and fix their antivirus before you could get patched. There are many people who will never get patched because they are using unpatched antiviruses. In fact, all you have to do is look at the news over the last couple of years to see antivirus, Norton's one of them, antivirus allows bad guy into system. Any program you run potentially will, give, will put a security hole in your system. That makes sense, right? Because programs aren't perfect. Any program exactly. you run will put a security hole in your system, even, in fact, especially a security program, because security programs have to operate at a very low level. And so they, in a way, are an even better conduit. And the bad guys know this, and they so they try to figure out, hmm, let's see, let's find some flaws in Norton, because it's going to give us a gateway into the system. The reason I, know, I used to recommend antiviruses, most experts I know, and, and I include... Myself here, no, we no longer recommend antiviruses for consumers. This is not for business. That's a different matter. But for cons And most antiviruses for business work very differently. You know, they block stuff from coming into the network, things like that. So that Norton at, at your work, that's fine. But it's, a, it's not the same thing you're going to get at home at all. And the thing okay. you're going to get at home is probably not needed. First of all, Windows 8 and Windows 10 now come with an antivirus. Microsoft puts an antivirus on there. Windows Defender, they call it on Windows 10. It's not perfect. This is my other problem with antiviruses. I have numbers of problems. The other one is an antivirus gives you a false sense of security. Uh, I'll give you an example, the WannaCry malware. You notice it broke through a lot of systems, many systems with antiviruses, even business systems. Only about a third of the antiviruses detected WannaCry. But that means two-thirds of the systems protected by antiviruses were wide open. And the problem I have is the people who ran those antiviruses thought, well, we're safe. We got, a, we got a Norton on here. What could possibly go wrong? So it's a false sense of security you get. So there's two problems. One, antiviruses cause security problems, add to it. Two, they give you a false sense of security. The final problem is just from my own experience, people call with problems all the time. I can't get on the internet or something's not working. My email, I can't attach an email. And it almost always boils down to an over-aggressive security program. Simple secure, simple antivirus is not so bad, where it, it, it's not trying to protect you like crazy. It's just scanning. That's what Norton, I mean, uh, Microsoft's Defender does. It's, it's kind of dumb. It's a simple antivirus. Anything called a security suite, stay away from, because it's really going to cause more problems. It's going to give you you know, all sorts of compatibility issues. It may even block patches like these Spectre Meltdown patches. And, and that ultimately makes you less secure, not more secure. So my advice, if you're running Windows 8 or Windows 10, is don't do anything. If you're running earlier versions of Windows, you can get Microsoft's antivirus. They call it, used to call it Security Essentials. You go to Microsoft.com slash security underscore essentials. You can install it. It's free. That's all you need. The real secret to security is, I'm sorry to say, people want a magic bullet. Really, the, sec the secret to security is you. You got to keep your system up to date. You have to make sure you don't accept candy from strangers. In other words, files that somebody offers you or suggests to you. Uh, be very careful about every program. This is a really important thing to understand. Every program you un install on your system, and I understand you have to install programs and nothing's going to work, but every single thing you put on your system is, has the potential to open a hole in your system. 
So be very judicious about where you get your software, what software you install. Don't click links in email. Don't open email attachments. Don't click links in messenger programs or on social networks like Twitter and Facebook. Bad guys are trying like crazy to get into your system. And the best protection is you just being careful. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. I'm glad you called, and I'm glad you asked the question. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. More calls to come. 8888-ASK-LEO right after this.